Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D, about to react to this vid by Sunny B2. This is every current YouTube world record. We got James Charles in the thumbnail with most subs lost. Mm. Let's see what these current uh, world records are, though. Let's watch. On the 23rd of April, 2005, a YouTuber by the name of Jawed unknowingly broke YouTube's earliest world record by uploading the very first video to the platform. As time progressed, his simple record was broken time and time again by other increasingly difficult accomplishments, every single one of which to be covered throughout this video. Now, Jawed was able to upload the first piece of content as he happened to be one of YouTube's three founders. However, the unbreakable oh, record of YouTube's first first comment is actually held by someone else altogether. In fact, the first comment on YouTube wouldn't even be posted until two months after the site's first upload, yet when it did eventually happen, it was done so by Marco Casse on a video titled Good Times, when Marco would write the three profound letters LOL, <laughs> followed by seven exclamation marks. In the very same month that YouTube's first comment was being posted, a different video titled Under the Bridge was creeping up in view count, and by June 2005, it would break a new record as the first upload by any created a past 10,000 views. One month later, a different video titled Money Get Away would become the first video to pass 100,000 views. However, Under the Bridge and Money Get Away were both just one hit wonders. Who was the first YouTuber to cultivate an actual community as a result of multiple different videos? Donning the title of YouTube's first comedy collective, Anthony and Ian were YouTube's earliest channel to pass 1,000 subscribers, which they achieved in February of 2006 after posting many bizarre viral comedy sketches. However, while almost everyone knows that Smosh were popular in the early days of YouTube, but one thing you might not know is that the record for the first channel to achieve 20,000 subscribers was a 79-year-old British man by the name of Peter Oakley, who ran a channel called Geriatric 1927. 4,700 of you lovely people had subscribed. I am absolutely <laughs> overwhelmed and don't quite That's know so what cute. to say. Peter achieved this record by uploading anything from videos discussing his time in the war, to content talking about his process for cooking chicken casserole. Oh, now I don't see what's difficult about all this cooking. I am going to cook you the most delightful chicken casserole. We'll come back to Geriatric 1927 later, but he didn't hold the record of YouTube's most subscribed channel for all that long, as competition was ramping up dramatically during his peak. Brands began to see YouTube as a marketing opportunity, leading Nike to upload a video titled Ronaldinho Touch of Gold, which would break the record as the first video to crack the 1 million view mark. Nice However, this wasn't the only sign that YouTube was becoming more advanced. In early 2006, YouTube made a change to the platform, which paved the way for a brand new record, being the very first video to feature a specifically designed thumbnail. The video which would claim this record was uploaded by Cinemassacre in April 2006, and while it's possible that the thumbnail was updated slightly at a later date, we can probably all agree that for the very first thumbnail on YouTube, it's surprisingly pretty well made. Yeah, Although, definitely. unfortunately, not nearly good enough to keep up with Smosh, who would achieve their second subscriber-related world record in May of 2007 to become the first channel with 100,000 subscribers. However, apparently Smosh were only just getting warmed up with this accomplishment, as in the process they'd pick up a third world record after their Pokemon-themed lip-sync music video became the first upload on YouTube to crack 10 million views. Yay. Although, it wouldn't be long before all three of these world records were completely dwarfed by another extremely annoying creator who was slowly becoming the new face of YouTube, Fred Figgle. Horn. After creating his account at the age of only 12, Fred began to play an overly hyped up energetic character who needed to take his pills in order to maintain sanity. If you're wondering why you're acting rather extraordinary right now, it's because I haven't taken my pill. Don't tell my mom that I lost my pills. The act was extremely cringy in retrospect. However, it resulted in the fastest subscriber explosion of any YouTuber at the time. He uploaded his yeah, first video in May of 2008, and by October of 2008, only five months later, he had achieved 600,000 subscribers, making him the largest creator on the platform, whilst also putting him in the perfect Look at position. Look at Kyle Jumba. I used to watch him. <laughs> he was so adorable. I loved him. Break the record for the first ever channel to achieve 1 million subscribers, which it achieved in early 2009. I just want to thank each and every one of you for I watched him though, and I remember specifically it was around 2012 though. 2011, 2012 is when I was watching him. 
million subscribers in the process of getting a million at the time. subs. The first ever YouTube short was uploaded to the platform, whilst Avril Lavigne's song Girlfriend would quietly break the record as the first video to reach 100 million views. However, while everyone was clearly loving Avril Lavigne, it was becoming a common trend to hate on a different musician, Justin Bieber. Approximately really? six months after he released his song Baby, it would here. break the record as the most disliked video in YouTube history. Only six months after that, it would break another oh, record by becoming Yoshi. the first video to achieve one million dislikes baby, and over baby, the following 2737 days or seven and a half years baby slowly earned one final record for holding the longest time as youtube's most disliked video on the subject of long time frames a video appropriately titled the longest video on youtube would then break the record for well the longest video on youtube and it clocked in at 596.5 hours or just under 25 days long the shortest video was also posted which clocked in at 0.013 of a second or 13 milliseconds, which is so short that not only does YouTube not display a timestamp in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail, but when you click on it, the video simply states, we're processing this video, check back later. And as a result of the video never actually loading, clicking on it doesn't seem to count as a view, and therefore the video has 2,000 likes and over 1,000 comments, despite the video having only 2,363 views. Now by this point, most of the simple records or the first of whatever had already been achieved, although no one had cracked 1 billion views on a video. Sure, Niga Higa had broke the record as the first channel to hit 2 million subscribers, Ray William Johnson had broken the record as the first channel to hit 5 million subscribers, and Smosh had picked up a fourth world record by becoming the first channel to hit 10 million subscribers. Yay. However, the idea of achieving a billion views on a single it, video it. still huh? seemed almost impossible. But when an eccentric musician from South Korea uploaded a video by the name of Gangnam Style, for the first time it seemed possible this that this record was potentially going to be broken and if you are on YouTube at the time, you'll remember that the hype around the event was nothing short of legendary. Only 159 days after uploading the song, Psy had broken a brand new record by becoming the first person in YouTube history to achieve 1 billion views on a video. Felix Baumgartner then skydived from space, which not only broke three different skydiving world records, but it also resulted in a record for the most concurrent viewers in a YouTube live stream, which it still holds to this day almost 10 years later. Although, while this achievement was extremely exciting at the time, a more depressing record was being set behind closed doors. Geriatric 1927, mm. the 79-year-old man who had become YouTube's most subscribed channel in 2006, passed away on the 23rd of March 2014, setting one tragic final record as the only number one most subscribed channel whose owner was no longer alive. Equally saddening was the story of a Chilean YouTuber named Tommy Eleven. After being diagnosed with brain cancer at the age of 12, some of YouTube's biggest creators got together to promote Tommy's pay attempting to make his dream of becoming a large YouTuber a reality before he died. Tommy's channel would shoot past 10 million subscribers oh. overnight, in the process setting records for the most subscribers gained in an hour, the most subscribers gained in a day, the most subscribers gained in a week, the fastest channel to achieve 1 million subscribers, as well as being the youngest creator to achieve both the 1 million and 10 million subscriber milestone. Four months after breaking these six records, Tommy's parents announced that he had unfortunately passed away. Without any promotion, Adele would quietly know, release the song Low, which gained a billion views in only yeah, 87 crying, days, yeah, almost yeah, half yeah. of Gangnam Style's record of 159 days, and in mid-2017, Gangnam Style would lose its final record of YouTube's most viewed video to Despacito after having held the title I for still four and heard a half that years. At around I the same point in time, YouTube's have. largest Spanish-speaking creator, Holosoy German, who had over 40 million subscribers, quit YouTube without notice, providing him with the record of YouTube's largest inactive creator. Mm. Before quitting, Holosoy German was just behind PewDiePie Pie, who would break the record as YouTube's first creator to achieve 50 million subscribers. Oh, However, this title was quickly threatened by an Indian channel going by the name of T-Series, who had gained almost 47 million subscribers in 2018, providing them with a record of the most subscribers gained by a channel within one year. As a result of the T-Series vs PewDiePie subscriber war, over the course of only 57 days, PewDiePie would accidentally achieve the record of the fastest 10 million subscribers gained on any channel. T-Series would have Eventually win the subscriber war by setting the record as the first channel to achieve 100 million subscribers. However, this provided PewDiePie with the final record of YouTube's most subscribed channel for the longest period of time, 2,063 days or five and a half years. Mm. However, while T-Series and PewDiePie were busy gaining subscribers, <laughs> James Charles was preoccupied with losing them. As a result of his drama with Tati Westbrook, he'd set the record for the highest one-day subscriber loss of 1.26 million. However, 
however, this yeah, wasn't nearly as bad as what would happen to the largest channel in Turkey. As a result of posting content which was deemed by YouTube as inappropriate and psychologically disruptive to children, the 15 million subscriber channel was terminated altogether, was providing it with the record of the most subscribed channel to be deleted by YouTube. On the contrary, Tommy Innit was shouting out his new vlog channel, Tom Simons, which will break the record for the fastest YouTuber to hit 100,000 subscribers after doing so in only 10 minutes. Then of course, what? there's Mr. Beast, whose first ever community post read, can we make this the most liked community post ever? I don't know, I'm bored. Which would break the record for, well, the most liked community post ever, with over 2.5 million likes. Although, this post still received dramatically less engagement than a post made by Angel, who broke the record for the most votes on a community poll, with this record being added to the page's other achievement of having the most subscribers on a channel without any letters in its name. On the contrary, there was good old Jack Sucks at Life, who used a glitch to surpass the 50 character name limit and break the record for the longest channel name on YouTube, oh. the glitch having been fixed recently, meaning this record will likely never be broken again. In addition to this, Jack holds the record for having both the longest and shortest named play buttons, as well as the most channels with over 100,000 subscribers, 11, one of which holding another record for the most subscribers on a channel which has never uploaded a video. <laughs> Yet, while Jack clearly went to pretty impressive lengths to secure these records, Seth Everman's unique world record seemed a little more simple. By commenting the 12 letters I'm the bald guy on Billie Eilish's bad guy music video, he'd receive over 3.3 million likes, smashing the record for the platform's most liked comment. As Seth was experiencing a positive media blow up as a partial result of his iconic comment, YouTube was experiencing its own blow up in the negative sense. It was seemingly imploding as they had just uploaded YouTube Rewind 2018. The video was so poorly received that it would go on to receive 20 million downvotes, breaking Justin Bieber's record for the most dislikes on a YouTube Why video. Like However, it? on the opposite I'm end sure of the spectrum, there was Mr. Beast, who would receive an almost equal 20 million upvotes on a video titled Make This Video The Most Liked Video On YouTube, breaking the record for the most liked non-music video. And speaking of Mr. Beast, we might as well run through some of his other notable records. In early 2021, Mr. Beast broke the record for the most views gained on a single piece of content in 24 hours, specifically on his Buried Alive video. However, he'd then re-break his own record later in the year with a Squid Game video, while simultaneously breaking another record for the most subscribers gained in a single month, 9.5 million. Jeez. Similarly, when Mr. Beast Gaming hit 10 million subscribers in 208 days, it set a record for the fastest channel to hit the milestone. However, Mr. Beast in Espanol would then break this record again, completing the milestone in only 143 days. Finally, whilst live streaming his reaction to reaching 100 million subscribers, Mr. Beast would gain 72,744 subscribers in less than 60 seconds, breaking the record for the most subscribers gained in a minute. And while most of these records relate to impressive subscriber milestones, if you want to learn about massive view counts, you'll have to look at the kids' channels. Coco Melon currently holds the record for the most views gained in a day at 264 million, as well as the most views gained in a month at 4.6 billion. And then of course, there's good old Baby Shark, which holds the record for both the most viewed video on YouTube, as well as being the first video to achieve 10 billion views. Yet I like to think that all of these records aren't nearly as impressive as Roll Vanderpaar, who holds the record for the most videos uploaded to the platform as a grand total. His channel has close to 2 million videos and literally uploads a unique automated piece of content every one or two minutes, providing him with over a million views per month for what is seemingly very little input or work. Is this as impressive as T-Series recently breaking the record for the first channel to achieve 200 billion total views? Well, I'll leave that one for you to decide. Wow, so many records. I know Mr. Beast will be on here though. The things that he's accomplished on YouTube is insane. Uh, but yeah, those kid channels, they be, they be getting a lot of money, a lot of views, a lot of subscribers for sure. And I see why these trifling ass parents <laughs> be popping out all these kids because they like, yeah, we about to get more money. We about to be a family channel. We about to put this little nigga to work, put a camera in his face and start collecting these checks. It's real fucked up. <laughs> but a lot of people do that and and that's why because they've been watching all these kids channels like hmm hmm but that's not smart because just because it worked for these people don't mean it's gonna work for you people might not like you and then well you stuck with a baby so there's that anyway interesting video <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and i'll see y'all the next time Bye.